everyone welcome back to my channel this is Kirti Kumar in case if you're visiting my channel for the first time or in case if you haven't hit the subscribe button please do hit the subscribe button guys that means so much to me so yes today's video is all about this bold hot pink lip makeup tutorial so in case if you want to know how I got this look then just keep on watching the video so firstly I'm going to start my makeup by applying a concealer on my eyelid area. So this concealer acts as an eyeshadow primer and also as an eyeshadow base. So you can apply a concealer or an eyeshadow primer guys and I'm just using a flat brush to apply that. Now uh, to set that in place I'm using this uh, very pale colored eyeshadow like a powder. So this powder will actually lock that concealer in place and when I apply shadows on top of this they will blend out more easily and neatly. So you can use a compact powder or loose powder instead as well. Now I'm taking this brown color from the uh, Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I'm applying that on my crease area with a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just blending that out in my crease. So that uh, blending brush is from Sigma. And yeah, then I'm taking this uh, brown color, mixing that with this uh, reddish brown color and I'm applying that on my outer V area and also slightly taking that into the crease area as well. So in the crease area it will darken and it will give a kind of um, darkened effect over there. I'm just intensifying the crease area and I'm also giving a kind of a definition in the outer V area. Now I'm taking a concealer and I'm doing a kind of slight cut crease kind of thing there. And I'm just using a lip brush guys you can use any brush that you have literally doing multi-purposing with the brushes is the key and uh, yeah you can actually use any flat brush to apply the concealer here and if you just observe I'm not taking this concealer all the way to the outer V I'm just uh, putting that slightly uh, below the crease line and only on the lid area I'm not taking it all the way to the outer V guys just look at that and yeah, you don't need too much of concealer, just a teeny bit of that to get that wash of colors more than enough. Now I'm mixing these two shades. One is a shade with a gold hint and, and the other is with a pink hint. And I'm applying that uh, on the area where I've applied the concealer. That is on the lid area with a flat eyeshadow brush again. So yeah, if you just have a kind of small uh, flat eyeshadow br brush like this, then I think that's the best, you know, that's just because it will perfectly fit into the lid area. So this brush is from Sigma again. Yes, it is. Or from Morphe. I just have to check it. Yeah, I'll be leaving the brush details in the description box below. Now for the foundation, I took the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation, my favorite one. And I have dotted that all over my face and I'm blending that out with a beauty blender. So a damp beauty blender. I'm just blending that out. And remember guys, picking a right shade of foundation is very, very important to get that flawless uh, makeup look. So in case if you, uh, if you just want to know how to pick your right shade of foundation, I have also done a video on that. I'll be linking that um, on top. Just check it out. Yeah, and for concealer, I took my NARS uh, Radiant Longwear Concealer and I just uh, applied that, sorry, the NARS Creamy Concealer. I just can get confused with this all the time. I applied that on all my high points and I'm blending that out with a damp beauty sponge again. Can you see that instant brightening effect that this concealer has given over there? And yeah, for the cream highlighter part, I took the Benefit a What's Up highlighter and I'm applying that on the high points. And I'm just blending that out with a uh, same uh, damp beauty sponge, guys. You can even use your fingers, but uh, I just feel that when I use fingers, it kind of leaves that finger marks in the base makeup area. So I always love to go with sponge. Now I'm taking again this cream highlighter, one from the... Uh, Huda Beauty highlighter palette and I'm just taking that with a sponge and again applying that on all my high points so with this step I'm kind of like layering the highlighters and also kind of giving that intensified uh, good dewy look with highlighters there and now I'm taking the iconic London illuminator drops place that again on all my high points just like one drop everywhere and I am blending that out with a sponge again 
and if you just see guys i'm not using like too much of product like too much of highlighter products i'm just using like minimal but still i just want to achieve that dewy kind of look at the end yeah and to set that makeup in place i'm using the krylon loose powder the yellow translucent powder as i always tell you yellow gives a kind of good brightening effect for warm skin tones uh so yeah that's the biggest reason i always pick a yellow loose powder So I'm just dabbing off the extra on the back of my hand. I'm just setting my makeup in place. So you're done with that. And now uh, for the bronzer, I took the Benefit Hula bronzer with that brush that comes with the Urban Decay Naked Heat Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just contouring my nose and also on all my contour areas like where I just have to contour. Now for the blush, I just took that same peachy pinky color from the uh, Huda Beauty palette and I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks. If you just see there guys, I am not a huge huge blush loving person. So I just want my blush to be like the subtle possible and but still I just want that little wash of color when you just see in person. But I just don't love like too much of blush on me. And especially I love blushes that has shimmers. And for the highlighter, I took the that highlighter from the uh, same Huda Beauty palette and I'm applying that on all my high points with a fluffy blending brush. So that is again a goldish tint highlighter, which again works good for Indian complexion. So if you if you just if you are in that brown complexion, reddish complexion, and are looking for a good uh, highlighter, then check out the ones that have got gold hint in it or like a rose gold hint in it. They work super good on the warm complexions. Now I'm mixing these two shades, which I've applied on the crease, the brown and the reddish brown kind of color, and I'm applying that on my lower lash line area. So yes guys, if you just apply an eyeshadow on the lower lash area, I just feel that it kind of uh, gives a definition to the look rather than just leaving that like there. So just try to apply some kind of kajal or shadow over there. It will change your look. Now again, I took a light brown color which I have applied on my crease for the first time and then I'm just kind of giving a transition on the bottom line. Now for the mascara, I took my Milk Makeup Mascara and I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with that. I don't have like super thick and voluminous lashes guys. So that's the biggest reason I just always love to add like false lashes again on top of that. But if you have like super thick and volume lashes, you can skip the lashes part if you just won't, don't want to go with the lashes. Yeah, for the lipstick part, I took the NYX Powder Puff lip, uh, lipsticks. So yeah, that is like a hot pink color. I really love the color. And also the biggest uh, pro about that lipstick is that it just comes with that sponge tip applicator, which you just have to press to get the product out. And you can, you can even use that to get like just a tint of color. Just press a little bit, just apply that and you can just get that very tint of color kind of effect. I hope you're getting it. So yeah, for the lashes, I took the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. So yes, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you like this look. In case if you do so, please give this video a big thumbs up and also please do hit the subscribe button. That means so much to me. And yeah, also do follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram handle is Kirti Kumar Makeup. I'll be putting up a lot many stories out there and also a lot many posts out there so you can get to know me and we can interact over there. And if you have any makeup related queries or like any uh, makeup topic suggestions, please put them in my comment section below. I would love to do more videos on that. So yeah, that's it guys. And uh, we'll be seeing you soon with another video. Till then, have a great day. Bye.